this is my transportable 3D printer design. In its carrying case, I'll show you how it's assembled. In the case, you have the printer, which I'm going to take out. And in addition to that, you've got a power supply and a fan unit. I'll take the power supply out first, it's velcroed in. And then there's the fan cooling unit. One velcro strap takes that out. Additionally, we have the power cord held in with the velcro. And this is an adapter for the spool wheel, which I'll show you in a moment. The printer itself unfolds. There's a couple of clips that hold it shut. I'm going to push those in and open it up. These hooks at the bottom secure the front and the back is secured with wing nuts. That gives it a good firm hold vertically. There's a touch panel on the top and the fan unit attaches on the back. A couple of pivots and it plugs down the bottom there. The power supply attaches around the back and I'll plug it in. on and I will home all three axes. I've got a touch panel on the top, go to the homing menu and I'll home everything. Now, in order to fit the spool the filament, I'm going to first of all extend the filament spool holder, push down on the catch and fold out the holder. That diameter is good for a very small reel of filament, but for most reels, they take a bigger diameter center, so I'll put the adapter on. And here is a typical spool of filament that would go on here. It would come off, it goes through this PTFE lined guide, and that would then go down into the print head. One final point, and that is that the cooling unit at the back is controlled via the firmware. And if I were to turn it on, then you see that the fans are running and that will be uh, acting as an intralayer cooling.